Hi, I'm Tony Boyd, Chanticleer columnist at the Australian Financial Review. And I'm James Thompson, the other Chanticleer columnist at the Australian Financial Review. We want to introduce you to our new podcast, Chanticleer. It's the weekly news breakdown of all things business, finance and markets. Now, Tony, what is the Chanticleer column? It's Australia's most prestigious business column. We've been going behind the news since 1974. That's almost 50 years of quality journalism. We spend our week talking to the CEOs, investors, deal makers, and policy makers. And on this podcast, we'll break down the big stories of the week. Every Friday, we'll take you behind the doors of corporate Australia and give you our unvarnished analysis. That's right, James. We're not afraid to tell it like it is. The history of bank mergers in Australia is pretty stinky, really. I mean, we're talking 17 years as a minimum to integrate these two companies. That's an extraordinarily long time. Australia's been a very happy hunting ground for the big international uh, management consulting firms. What tends to happen is that the alumni end up running big companies and then lo and behold you find (laughs) they're all employing the same consultants they used to work for. We come up with the weekly predictions... My information was that in the secondary market, you can buy Canvas shares for a valuation of about $15 billion. So it is definitely plunged by about 60%, which is pretty dramatic. And we tell stories. There was a wonderful anecdote from Australia's last serious recession in the early 1990s, and it was the chief executive of National Australia Bank, Don Argus. He was going out to the airport in Melbourne, and he started counting all the cranes. When he got back to the office, he said, this construction boom has gone crazy. I want you to review all of our construction credits. It was actually a a brilliant piece of insight taken from everyday life, and it proved to be uh, very prescient. And we'll even take your questions. Subscribe to Chanticleer. Hey, Tony, isn't that French? Yeah, it's French for rooster, James. C-H-A-N-T-I-C-L-E-E-R. Join us at 5pm on Friday, September 16 for the first episode when we will share the origins of the Chanticleer name and why James and I are sceptical chooks. Subscribe to Chanticleer for free wherever you get your podcasts. This podcast is sponsored by CBRE.